Recent footage appears to show a Russian Pantsir S-1 air defense system in Ukraine failing to shoot down a long-range Storm Shadow missile. Viewers may note that Russian forces have extensively deployed Pantsir S-1 in the ongoing war in Ukraine. Storm Shadow missile was provided by the United Kingdom in mid-May, and Ukrainian forces have used the missile to target high-value Russian assets. In a clip shared on social media, the Pantsir S-1 air defense system was unable to take down the Storm Shadow's missile at near point-blank range. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Pantsir S-1 badly failed against the British-French-made Storm Shadow missile in Ukraine. Let's get into the details. In the video, a white dot appears on the radar screen. This is most likely the Ukrainian aircraft carrying the Storm Shadow missile. Then a small dot comes up adjacent to the white dot, which becomes a large and bright pink spot. This is presumably the Storm Shadow missile being detected by the Pantsir S-1's radar. The video then shifts to the thermal imaging display, which appears to be tracking the Storm Shadow missile in flight. At that moment, the Pantsir S-1 fires the first 95YA-6 missile, resulting in a white flashout on the thermal imaging display. The missile is seen rapidly closing in on the Storm Shadow missile before turning away to the left of the screen. The thermal imager loses track of the Storm Shadow missile for a moment. The Pantsir S-1 fires a second 95YA-6 missile, and the thermal display whites out again. The missile is seen flying off into the distance, while the Storm Shadow missile eventually disappears and a large explosion is seen on the ground before the video cuts out. All evidence suggests, even with guidance data from the Pantsir S-1 radar, the two missiles, which lack their own seekers, could not come close to the Storm Shadow cruise missile to detonate their high-explosive warheads that would have knocked out the British-supplied missile. The Pantsir S-1 missile system is a self-propelled surface-to-air missile system. It's designed to provide point air defense of military, industrial, and administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precision munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs. Viewers may note that the S-400 missile defense system is also protected by Pantsir S-1. The Pantsir S-1 is mobile and uses wheeled or track chassis. Its fire control system includes a target acquisition radar and dual waveband tracking radar that operates in the UHF and EHF waveband. The detection range is 22 miles or 36 kilometers and the tracking range is 17 miles or 28 kilometers with a target of 2 square meters or 22 square feet RCS. The system has 360 degree coverage and both the sensors use a passive, electronically scanned array. There's also an infrared radar that's capable of detecting, acquiring, and tracking targets even in low visibility conditions. Pantsir S-1 is unique, as it's the first version of the Pantsir family air defense system that combines short to medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery in a single platform. The surface-to-air missile is the 95YA-6. Export version is known as 57E-6, two-stage solid-fuel radio command guided missile. The missiles are arranged into two groups of six sealed, ready-to-launch container tubes on the turret. The missiles have a range of 20 kilometers or 12 miles, max speed of Mach 3.8, and carry 20-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead. Anti-aircraft artillery is the two-dual 2A-38M 30mm autocannon guns that are fitted with 700 rounds. The crew can choose the kind of ammunition depending on the nature of the target, which includes high-explosive fragmentation or armor-piercing rounds. 
The maximum rate of fire is 2,500 rounds per minute per gun. The cannon has a range of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. Storm Shadow is an Anglo-French, low-observable, long-range, air-launched cruise missile developed since 1994 by Matra and British Aerospace, and now manufactured by MBDA. The French equivalent is known as Scalp EG. Storm Shadow entered into service in 2002. RAF Tornadoes used Storm Shadow missiles operationally for the first time during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. It's comparable to cruise missiles, such as the American AGM-158 JASSM and the German-Swedish KEPD-350 Taurus. Storm Shadow is equipped with a TR-60-30 turbojet engine, providing it with a maximum range of 560 kilometers or 350 miles. The missile has a top speed of Mach 0.95. Storm Shadow is equipped with a 450 kilograms or 990 pound brooch warhead. This is a two stage warhead made up of initial shaped charge, which cuts a passage through concrete, earth, etc., allowing a follow on warhead to penetrate the target. Because of this warhead design, cruise missiles can now achieve the level of hard target penetration that was previously limited to laser-guided gravity bombs. For mid-course guidance, Storm Shadow employs a triple navigation system using inertial navigation, GPS, and terrain reference navigation. For terminal guidance, it uses an imaging infrared seeker and automated target recognition software for pinpoint accuracy. It's a fire-and-forget missile programmed before launch. Once launched, the missile cannot be controlled or commanded to self-destroy, and its target information cannot be changed. Recent enhancements include the capability to relay target information just before impact and the usage of a one-way or link-back data link to relay battle damage assessment information back to the host aircraft. The video clearly shows that the Pantsir S-1 is capable of detecting and locking onto the Storm Shadow cruise missile. It even had the opportunity to fire off not one, but two 95YA-6 missiles at it. The Pantsir has a checkered record, and its effectiveness when encountering a well-organized air force or missile attack is suspect. It's suffered losses in Libya, as well as Syria, especially against Israeli forces. While some of this can be attributed to poor quality operators, crucial issues have been discovered with Pantsir S-1. In 2018, editor-in-chief of Russia's Arsenal of Fatherland magazine, Viktor Murakovsky, had posted on his Facebook wall about this and made some startling disclosures. According to Murakovsky's post in Syria, it came to light that these Pantsir S-1 anti-aircraft missile systems practically do not track low speed and small size targets, which include drones, but at the same time regularly spotted big birds flying around the base, which is confusing for operators. While the conflict in Ukraine has no end in sight, it has surely caused huge damage to the reputation of the Russian military. Viewers may also note that Russia is the second largest weapons exporter in the world, and these failures are likely to impact this negatively. Air defense was an area where some believed that Russia was at the top, but as evident, it has many loopholes. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.